about demonstration? Demonstration? Well, if they go to Vietnam, they went on their own. The proper sin see, we know the law is God, and we ain't going to worry about it no more. You're not going to worry about what? We ain't worrying about Vietnam. If you went over there, you went on your own. See, we give respect to the government 100%, while we know what the government is doing for the people out here. See, we are 5% of poor righteous teachers. See, we know everything. See, we respect the government at all costs, while we are back him up. But we know he's doing his job, while we out here to do a job also. That's right. why we're here. What do you think about the job they're doing, the government? The government? The government is doing everything right and exact. That's the way it's supposed to be. The government has always been right and exact. They're doing their job and we're doing ours. The 5% is going to do their job in the poor part of the planet Earth. What's the difference between the job they're doing and the job you're going to be doing? See, we're going to be building. We're going to build a black nation that's going to be all wise and righteous. And See, we'll obey. That's right. But see, we got our own rules and regulations, and we know that God is alive and he is black. Why aren't you marching today? Why? Because we march for what? We don't need to march. We know who God is. And the Lord gonna take care of it all. That's why his sons are out here now. You see three of us standing here. We don't protest, you know. We three of us right here. We respect the government. We don't go through walking through the streets and protesting. The people want to do something, just go down there one at a time and tell the government what they want to do. The government is right in his act. They know what they're doing. Sure do. I see a lot of the God. He told us to respect the government 100% and do anything the government acts. Well, see, we know we're going to do for the government. See, the government got to speak to us while we're the high intelligent people of this planet Earth. See, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he's the last and greatest apostle of Almighty God Allah. Right. See, he already submitted 100%. He's the holy Muslim. How about your friend? Is that oh, that's my brother. That's Dubai. Dubai. Yeah, five I'm a 5%. I ain't no friend. What friend of his? I'm not that's no friend. friend. That's, that's my brother. brother. That's it. How do you feel about the demonstration? How I feel about it. Didn't you hear me speak? Ain't no difference. We all is one. Would you serve? I well, say, I say all praises to do to God a lot. I go in the army and show and prove and come back home in no limit of time. The same right. way I went in there. Are you a draft age now? No, sir. Are either of yes, you a draft age? Have you been called? No, sir. Well, I yes. spoke to the government while the government told me to lay cool for a while. You got a deferment? Yes, sir. Are you trying to get other black youth to not go into the army? Are you no, I'm not stopping them. Not I'm stopping not stopping them. We're not stopping nobody. If you go to Vietnam, you go on your own. See, everyone is independent. Right. This year here is independent year. If they don't know they're independent, why they got to go out in the street and go by themselves? There ain't no one going to help them. How do you feel about the demonstration, sir? How do I feel about it? Yeah. What do you mean, how do I feel about well, it? Well, are you in favor of demonstrating against the war in Vietnam? I tell you what, I'm not in favor. I'm not in favor of cleaning up another country when this is filthy. That's right. You dig right. that? See, what, what this cracker has learned is clean home first. Don't worry about Vietnam. You can't. You can't guarantee freedom to the people millions of miles away when you got crap going on right here in, in the neighborhood and in the city. America needs her own face cleaning first. We were in this foxhole, and the CEO's—he was one of the most scared people I've ever seen doing any kind of an operation. 